Welcome to Professor Soli's small fruit production class at Delaware Valley College. First off, I wanted to say that I think doing our class presentations on YouTube is a great idea because you're able to give your full attention to the presenter without having to take notes and you can review the presentation at any time. So if you missed anything, you can simply go back and replay the clip. Today, we will be discussing aphids that affect blueberry production. What does an aphid look like, and what is their life cycle? Well, this is what an aphid looks like. And the life cycle of aphids, they overwinter as tiny eggs on blueberry bushes at the base of bud scales. In spring, young aphids hatch and colonize new leaf growth, living on the undersides of leaves. Populations grow during the summer and can cause sooty mold on fruit if populations are very high. Once they are mature, they reproduce asexually, obviously. Females produce offspring without mating. As the period of daylight gets shorter in the fall, aphid colonies produce winged males and females. Males and females mate, and eggs are laid on buds on the new plant growth. Eggs overwinter here until the spring. What are viruses caused by blueberry aphids? Blueberry aphids cause blueberry shoestring virus and blueberry scorch, which cause bush decline and significant yield reductions. Aphids also excrete a sticky substance called honeydew, which leads to black sooty mold. Some examples of that are in these pictures here. What are signs of blueberry shoestring virus? <clears throat> well, signs are the, leaf, the leaves curl inwards and appear long and skinny like shoestrings, hence the name. Leaves develop a reddish color or oak leaf pattern along the major veins. The fruit then emerges and remains a reddish purple color instead of turning blue. Symptoms of shoestring virus may not be visible for two to four years, making the virus exceedingly difficult to control. There is no cure for the virus and infected plants have to be removed as soon as possible and destroyed. How can I tell if the plant has blueberry scorch virus? The plant will have severe flower and leaf browning in high bush blueberries. All varieties of high bush blueberries are considered susceptible. The symptoms of blueberry scorch first appear during bloom in late April to early May. The blightened blossoms often are retained throughout the summer but fail to develop into fruit. Affected bushes develop symptoms every year. Initially, only one or a few branches are affected. Bushes appear to recover as the season progresses. However, the yield is reduced or eliminated. Plants can be killed in three to six years. What is the economic loss due to aphid damage? Because of reduced yield and, and bush decline, an estimation of several million dollars are lost annually. What can be used for cultural control? It's important to use only certified virus-free planting material. Infected bushes should be removed and destroyed as soon as possible. The cultivars Jersey, Elliot, and Blu-ray are highly susceptible to BSSV and should be carefully monitored. The cultivars Blue Crop and Atlantic have field resistance to the virus and are recommended for plantings with high disease pressure. What can be used for biological control? Several species of parasitic wasps prey on and aphidias species they lay their eggs inside aphids. The larvae then consume them from the inside. Many predatory insects also attack aphids and their eggs. These can include lady beetle dolts and larvae and larvae of hoverflies and lace wings. How about chemical control? Well, if insecticides are necessary, coverage of lower shoots is essential for optimal aphid control. Newer selective and systemic insecticides in the neonicotinoid class, Provado, Actera, Acel, 
These all provide excellent aphid control because these insecticides spread in the foliage after application, which ensures a good coverage. Organic options for aphid control include neem-based products, insecticidal soaps, and dormant oil, applications to smother the eggs. So that's it for aphids, so tune in, to our, tune in next time to another student's pest report. Coming to you live from Delaware Valley College.